Hey, you guys, Georgie here um, from GSC Solutions, and I'm also the content creator behind GSC with Georgie. So you want to know how to um, do a LinkedIn Live using Zoom. Well, in this video, we're going to go over exactly how to do that. So let's dive into that. And I'm looking at my second screen. So I still see y'all, but I'm looking at my second screen. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to Zoom. You want to make sure that your settings, um, so when you go to Zoom, you log in, you go down to settings. And on the settings page, you are gonna wanna scroll, but I like to do the fast way. I just control command F and then I type in streaming and then it highlights, you know, allow live streaming and it just pops me down to this section. So you wanna allow live streaming of meetings. So make sure that is on. Then you wanna select all the places you wanna allow live streaming to, but the most important one is custom live streaming services. This will allow you to write in a custom stream URL, um, as well as a stream key. So RTMP URL or a stream key. And you may not know what that is, but don't worry, we're going to get right into it. So now that you've done that, what you can go ahead and do is you can um, now go over to the platform. So let's, in this case, we're using LinkedIn. You want to make sure that you have an event created on LinkedIn, and I'll put the link down below, but you just go to linkedin.com slash events. Then you want to do create an event and I'll just create one from scratch just for this example. Um, and so you'll put in the organizer, you'll put in the image, online event, event format. So this is the key part right here. You wanna make sure that you select the LinkedIn Live because that's what you would be doing. So you select LinkedIn Live, you put the name, the time, time zone, start time, topics, etc., and then the speakers, and then you're gonna hit next and it'll allow you to save it. So once you have it saved, I'm gonna discard this one because I already have an event that I can use. So I actually have a live stream the day of this recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. So I see the details here on the front end, but I wanna be able to manage this from the back end. So what you wanna do is you're gonna click in, um, and I'll put the link below, um, there's, it's a little funky how to get here, but the URL is essentially linkedin.com video slash go live slash manage. So we're going to go to that page because that will allow you to manage all of your streams that are coming up. So here, that same event that I just mentioned, it's here. And then I want to hit prepare to go live. When I click prepare to go live, it's going to ask me, do I want to make a caption and add any different things, but we don't want to edit it. So it's fine. We're going to pick a region. So wherever you're based. So I'm in the um, Northeast US and then get URL. This will then populate for me a stream URL as well as a stream key. Those are two key things that you will need. And now it's so we have that information. We already activated streaming on Zoom. We're going to go and do join if you um, actually let me just use my private meeting link so that way I don't have to create another one for this test. So we all have our generic Zoom meeting link. I think it's this one. Oh, it's uh, let me just find a meeting that I use as a recurring session. All right, Georgie. So we're inside of Zoom, regular stuff. What you want to do is you can make it larger or you could just simply come down to more. So more is where you'll see custom live, live streaming service. And so this is where um, it'll ask me for the stream key, streaming key, streaming page URL. So you can enter that if you like. So here's where we would go copy the stream URL, put that here. Then we'll copy the stream key. We'll put that here. Uh, yeah, just make sure there's nothing else typed in it. So just paste it. And, um, you know, streaming page URL. So it's like, it would be the LinkedIn page. Um, you, you can leave that one blank. Like, don't worry about that. Um, all right. And then you would hit go live. So for this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and make a test event. So I'm gonna do new stream, go live now. So I'll just call it test. The description is just test. And then we pick our region, um, US Northeast, get URL, copy my stream URL. Since that one that I had earlier was for a session later, copy my stream key. Then I'll paste it in here. And then I want to hit go live. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my LinkedIn page. So that is where the stream will pop up. 
And once I go back to Zoom, it'll show me that it is live, right? The session is streaming. Um, they can't see or hear me. And just for an example, what I could go ahead and show you all is that the stream is feeding in. Um, and from here, this is where I'll click the final go live. And just for example purposes, I'm going to turn on my camera. So here we go. Turn on my camera and you'll see it pull up here into this part of the stream. Just give it a couple seconds. So another thing is that the stream is usually going to be a little delayed. Um, so maybe like in another five seconds, you should see my picture here. Um, as well as my bandwidth is being a little funky right now. Okay, there we go. So it was about like 10 seconds delayed. Yours might be a little bit faster, but that is how you set up um, a live stream to LinkedIn or any platform as, for that using uh, Zoom. So you could go straight from Zoom to LinkedIn. Once you hit go live, then everybody would be able to see this. Until you hit go live, it's just kind of in your own little studio. Um, and I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know, as well as my team, GSD Solutions. We do this work on a daily basis, helping folks get equipped with virtual events. Team GSD Solutions, um, this is the type of work that we do. And if you need support in your virtual event productions, reach out to us at gsdsolutionsinc.com or qmycontent.com. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.